welcome back. We're doing the last part of the Inquisitor's uh, gear hunt or farming thingy what's it. What I'm going to do is go through a couple of locations where you can go to get all the materials that you need to craft your specific uh, Inquisitor's gear. Uh, and I'll also, once I've finished here, before I go on to the next place, if you're wondering uh, okay, well, I've made my gear. Why is it not sparkly? I'll show you how to do that. How to get it looking as silvery and as sparkly as this. But um, what I wanted to do is also go through a couple of um, uh, tier three crafting locations. So if you're looking for, well, if you're at this position and you're looking for different weapons for uh, sorcerer, uh, well, for your mage, for your uh, rogue, or even for your uh, warrior. Uh, there's a couple of places that you can come to. I'm currently in Ompris de Leon, um, near the Highgrove camp. What I'm going to do is make my way out of the camp, going back towards uh, the start of the uh, area, which is over here. But I'm actually going to go just there. There's over past this lyrium infected tree up here we have one two everite it's not much and to be honest if you're going to be crafting uh, unrestricted armors such as I've done uh, you don't really want to be using Everite for it, you can use something else. So that's just for, for weapons and whatnot, and you probably won't need that much anyway, so away you go. Right, from Highgrove Camp, as you make your way up to Dragon's Rise Camp, once you take it. Now, getting from here to here, you'll encounter loads of red templars. You need those for the dales load and wool that they carry. And getting from here to here, you'll also encounter more red templars, which will enable you to craft the mages uh, gear, which is currently the one that I'm wearing. Now, if you want to craft the warriors, you're gonna need silverite. And silverite is found from the Highgrove camp to Dragon's Rise camp in Ompris de Leon. There are seven deposits on the way up here. Yeah. So you got one as you, straight out of, of the Highgrove camp into the tunnel. You find one. Bloodstone, Bloodstone, and Silverite just before the Lyrium. Uh, come up here. That's bloodstone. Right, stop here. You can see a dawnstone up, up there in between the uh, staff's circle. You want to make a left here, aiming for this lyrium. Stop. Make a left. And there's the silverite. I can go one or two ways around or up. I just go whichever's quicker. There's Bloodstone. There's Dawnstone. There's Inquisitors. There's Bloodstone. There's so much Dawnstone around here, it's on track. More of it there. More of it there. Okay, so once you pass by the massive deposits of red lyrium, walk up to here. You've got one silverite deposit just before you drop off to the elf root and another one here. Uh, 
Right. Where you fight the big behemoth, uh, Red Templar, and as soon as you get into the area, you come across this little path of uh, Red Lyrium. Follow this. So you come all the way down to here. Then you get this V-looking thing. One up here and down here. There are two of them there. So it's two silverite deposits, the last two. And that's seven in a row. Yeah, it's probably going to take you some time to get everything you need, but that's pretty much all that you need if you're just crafting one set, if it's just for you, because um, the Inquisitor gear does look pretty cool on other people, but it has to be within their own class, otherwise it just looks funky. So, yeah. Right, that's pretty much that for that. And now we go to... Yeah, the Fens camp. Is it the Fens camp? No. We go to the River Watch camp in the Exalted Plains for the leather that you need to craft the Rogue's version. So we've covered the Mage with the Red Templars that you didn't see, but you'd see in part one. The Silverite, which we've done in this part. And the Dale's, sorry, the snow fleur skin, the leather that you need, is in the Exalted Plains. Now, what I've found with this, it's pretty much about waiting more than anything else. Inquisitor, I have something for you. Right, there's a snow fleur over there. Oh, right in front of me. Goodbye! Another one over there, and over there, and three of them that I can see on screen. Thank you, game! Yeah, it does that occasionally. It drops what you actually need back to where you are. Not where you were. Right, now carry on going. The idea um, you can actually see it quite nicely. There's there's a pathway that runs between the fields. If you can just see it. Now what you want to do is go from here to here to here and back. It's that simple. Don't hit the haller. No one likes it if you hit the haller. Now, what I meant about patience and waiting is that even on a game as well detailed and well crafted as this, there will be pop-in. It's, it's just the fact of how much uh, the system is being pushed. There's no two ways around it. You will have mm. pop-in. Um, so, there's Accept the fact that some of the things that you're looking for will either pop in when you're there or a couple of seconds after you arrive or maybe not for quite some time. It, it, it's, it's just one of the things that you have to accept. Even on the PS4 version, I don't, I don't know why, but it, it must be just how much is being pushed. Right, so back to the camp. There's a Halla. Now this is where I found, accidentally found my first uh, snow flood, but it's not there. Right, now we go back. 
I remember, if this doesn't um, load any more in, just leave the area, come back, and away you go. it is so we'll go to Highgrove and back to Ompris and see what we can see. I want to see something else as well. It's just one of the things that you have to deal with is uh, pop in. When I first recorded this, I made the run that I just did. Went from the Riverwatch camp across and back. By the time I turned around, more Snowflare had popped in. It's, it's just a fact of the game. But once you accept that, that pop-in is, is a fact, even in games now, such as this one, you're fine. So, yeah. What we'll do after, after finding these is go back to the uh, castle. If you have a moment. At Skyhold. And see what else we can get. I prefer using coal. One shot and everything's done. So that's it. Okay, so inventory, crafting materials. We have got desert wool, which you get from uh, red templars. So when you first go into on Pristilion, you'll get loads of it. They uh, touched loads of they touch stuff. Uh, 
nerve for skin. 83. That's not from this, that's a little bit more than, than I had before. <laughs> but yeah, you don't it doesn't take much to get much of what you're looking for, which is fantastic. Um, and the silver rights back up to ten. I've had that for oh, never mind, never mind. Right, so now we go back to Skyhold. I want to see what the different gears actually look like on different people. If possible. And I do did want to do that little bit of tinting too, so Inquisitor. Right, so, gear colouring. How do you get your Inquisitor gear looking all nice and tinted like this? Well, it's actually not the metal that you need to tint. Or the cotton, or the leather. It's actually this one, the cloth tint one. See, if you have cotton, even with silverite, cotton looks quite dark. Just keep on going and going all the way down. Yeah. That's what you want. You need silk brocade, otherwise your gear looks kind of dark. I don't know if you want your gear to look kind of dark, but it's fair enough, it's fine. But I like it to be all nice and spangly, so yeah, there we go. Silk Brocade is how you tint it on uh, your armor tint one. Right, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Sandra, Sarah, Dorian, Blackpool, Dorian. When he loads, so coal. That's kind of different. What does she look like in the Battle Master? Same as before.
there's pretty much no no difference. Almost gotcha. Weird. Oh, yeah. Also, um, but 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 Cassandra. With the Templar gear, if you want your Templar to actually look like a Templar from the first and second game, um, a bit like that, um, the tinting, uh, I think the first one is Silk Brocade, ironic. The second is actually Plant Weave. The only thing I've come across, aside from silk, which produces a halfway decent tint. Uh, leathers, whatever you want really. And of course the metal. I went with silver right because why not? Although I guess you could go with iron or even onyx. If you wanted it to look a little bit darker and whatnot, I suppose you could do. Wouldn't hurt. Just wish I could find the Templar helmet schematic. But yeah, that's pretty much that for now. I might make some more alterations with gears and whatnot and see how uh, other characters look. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So. That's how you go about finding your tier 3 um, crafting materials that you need to make unrestricted Inquisitor trailer gear. So if you want your Inquisitor to look like he does in the trailer, that's how you go about getting it. You need to go to uh, the Hissing Wastes all the way over there to that merchant it looks a lot closer than it really is that that is a long way to, to travel and trust me you need that camp um, so get the plans from him decide which one that you actually want to look like it doesn't matter if you want to look like the uh, the big beefy dude or you want to look like the rogue as a mage it doesn't matter as long as you use Dale Snowden Wall from the Red Templars to drop. So, 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 crafting materials. If you use that as a warrior, you can put that suit on. If you use Snowflake Skin. As a rogue, you can put that suit on anyone. If you use Silverite, if you make the uh, Silverite uh, um, warrior suit, it doesn't matter. You can put it on a mage, a rogue, anyone. No restrictions. So those are the ideal ones that you want to go for. Silverite, where it says at the top there, tier 3, rare metal, no class restriction for armors. Snowflake skin, same. No class restriction for armors and Dale's Loden Wool. No class restriction for armors. That's exactly what you need. Okay, hope that helps and you can find where to get your Inquisitor gear looking like you want. And don't forget you can get the helmet from the Black Emporium, which is a free DLC. So away you go and fill your boots. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.